Hi, welcome to Dave's Tiny Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some Guernsey Gash. Think French, Gash. G A C H E. Like that, look. Um, it's basically a fruit bread, thereabouts. It's a very traditional um, dish from Guernsey, and we're going to have a go at making it. So, without messing about, let's crack on. Quick look at the ingredients. In here, pound of plain flour, 12 inches of sultanas, 2 inches of mixed peel, a half a pound of unsalted butter, some dried yeast, some sugar, and oh boy, there will be warm water in there in a minute. Half a pint of warm water. Step one, get your assistant to rub the butter into the flour. Okay, so that's the butter rubbed into the flour. Um, next stage, this is the activated yeast with the, with the water. That comes into the middle of there. We'll mix that together and we will have a very stiff dough, I think. Sorry, the soft dough. We should have soft dough. In goes all the fruit. You can see I'm trying not to get my hands in it. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but I think this time I got away with it. There, that's in real time, so what was that? A minute? Job done. Just cover this with cling film, leave this in a warm place for an hour and a half to two hours. Well here we are an hour and a half later, ready to go into the uh, loaf tin and be baked in the oven. As you can see it's uh, risen up in volume. Okay, here it is in the loaf tin, ready to go into the oven, 30 minutes at 220 degrees C and then 30 minutes at 200 degrees C. See you in an hour. Well there we are, one hour in the oven. We'll let that cool down five minutes, take it out of the pan. How good does that look? Guernsey Gash. There we are, Guernsey Gash, a lightly toasted Butter on it, melting as you can see. Cup of tea. Time to taste. Mm. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's wonderful, it's quite crumbly, it's a bit more like cake than bread, um, I'm not really sure, it's tasty, um, not really sure what I was expecting there, but it's okay, give it a 7 out of 10, not bad, thanks for watching. <laughs>